Hello, I am Tony Koh, the host of Talk It Global. At the recent CES 2025, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang delivered a keynote speech. And what impressed me the most was the World Foundation model for physical AI called Cosmos. Unlike the foundation models of LLMs designed to understand human language, Cosmos is the first ever World Foundation model created to understand the physical world. Is we need to create the effective, effectively the world model of, you know, as opposed to GPT, which is a language model. And this world model has to understand the language of the world. It has to understand physical dynamics, things like gravity and friction and inertia. It has to understand geometric and spatial relationships. It has to understand cause and effect. If you drop something and fall to the ground, if you, you know, poke at it, it tips over. It has to understand object permanence. If you roll a ball over the kitchen counter, when it goes off the other side, the ball didn't leave into another quantum universe that's still there. And so all of these types of understanding is intuitive understanding that we know that most models today have a very hard time with. And so we would like to create a world, we need a world foundation model. Today we're announcing a very big thing. We're announcing NVIDIA Cosmos a world foundation model that is designed, that was created to understand the physical world. Let's hear ChatGPT's perspective on how challenging it might be for Cosmos to teach AI the universal physical world compared to training LLMs with countless digitized web and document data to understand human language. A world foundation model based on physical models may be much more challenging to perfect than language-based models because it needs to learn complex data that interacts with the real physical environment. Such models need to understand the physical rules and complex interactions of the real world, requiring more data and sophisticated learning. This makes the development process significantly more challenging. NVIDIA's world foundation model, Cosmos, is just at the beginning and there's still a long way to go before it can encompass all the physical models on Earth. Yes, that's right. Cosmos is still in its early stages, and there is a long way to go before it can encompass all physical models on Earth. It will need to continuously collect data and refine the model to gradually improve its accuracy. Completing such a model will require a great deal of time and effort. However, once it's completed, we can expect interactions with the real world to become much more sophisticated. If NVIDIA develops Cosmos to that level, wouldn't it become much more competitive than companies like OpenAI or Google, which are focused on language-based LLMs? Yes, that's certainly a possibility. If Cosmos, based on physical models, is developed to a high level of completion, its ability to directly interact with the real world will be significantly enhanced. This could provide a competitive edge that is difficult to achieve with language-based models alone. Therefore, if NVIDIA succeeds in completing a model of that caliber, it could gain a substantial advantage over other companies. NVIDIA has developed Cosmos, a world foundation model for the physical world, and seems to be aiming to apply it to robotics. Which company do you think would be NVIDIA's biggest competitor in this area, ChatGPT? Companies like OpenAI and Microsoft Azure, which offer general services, certainly excel in LLMs, but seem to lack expertise when it comes to robotics-related know-how. Yes, that's correct. OpenAI and Microsoft Azure show strength in LLMs, but they are relatively lacking in expertise when it comes to robotics. While they excel in LLMs, their specialization in robotics is somewhat limited. NVIDIA, on the other hand, offers an integrated solution that spans both hardware and software and has a deep understanding and extensive experience in robotics, which gives it a significant competitive edge. Which companies with expertise in both World Foundation models and robotics could become NVIDIA's competitors in the future? Companies that could become strong competitors to NVIDIA include Tesla, Boston Dynamics and Amazon. These companies excel in robotics and AI, making it highly likely that they will compete with NVIDIA in the future. Doesn't Boston Dynamics only make robots? Are they good at AI as well? Boston Dynamics primarily focuses on robotics, but leverages AI technology to enhance the autonomy and complex movements of its robots. 
In particular, AI plays a crucial role in improving the perception and learning capabilities of its robots. This makes Boston Dynamics competitive in integrating robotics with AI. What I became curious about here is the difference between Omniverse, which NVIDIA introduced a few years ago as a platform for digital twins, and Cosmos, which was announced this time. Cosmos is a model designed to model and learn from the physical world, whereas Omniverse is a platform for creating and simulating virtual environments. Cosmos is primarily specialized in AI learning and robotics, while Omniverse can be seen as a simulation tool that can be utilized across various industries. Omniverse focuses on graphics, while Cosmos incorporates an AI perspective. Yes, that's correct. Cosmos focuses on AI, while Omniverse emphasizes graphics and simulation. Do both Omniverse and Cosmos have aspects related to physical world modeling? Yes, both Omniverse and Cosmos have the capability to model the physical world. However, Omniverse focuses more on simulation and virtual environments, while Cosmos is more specialized in robotics and AI learning. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang explained the relationship between Omniverse and Cosmos uh, by comparing it to how RAG provides accuracy to LLMs. Omniverse is a physics grounded, not physically grounded, but physics grounded. It's algorithmic physics, principled physics simulation grounded system. It's a simulator. When you connect that to Cosmos, it provides the grounding the ground truth that can control and to condition the Osmos generation. As a result, what comes out of Osmos is grounded on truth. This is exactly the same idea as connecting a large language model to a RAG, to a retrieval augmented generation system. You want to ground the AI generation on ground truth. And so the combination of the two gives you a physically simulated, a physically grounded multiverse generator. And the application, the use cases are really quite exciting. And of course, uh, for robotics, uh, for industrial applications, uh, it is very, very clear. Let's take a closer look at what can actually be achieved in the real world using the World Foundation model, Cosmos with Omniverse. It seems that it will provide intelligent, autonomous operational capabilities to all machines operating in reality, such as cars, logistics robots, and industrial robots. Building autonomous vehicles, like all robots, requires three computers. NVIDIA DGX to train AI models, Omniverse to test drive and generate synthetic data, and Drive AGX, a supercomputer in the car. Building safe autonomous vehicles means addressing edge scenarios, but real world data is limited. So synthetic data is essential for training. The Omniverse scenarios are used to condition Cosmos to generate massive amounts of photorealistic data, reducing the sim to real gap. And with text prompts, generate near infinite variations of the driving scenario. With Cosmos Nemotron Video Search, the massively scaled synthetic data set, combined with recorded drives, can be curated to train models. NVIDIA's AI data factory scales hundreds of drives into billions of effective miles, setting the standard for safe and advanced autonomous driving. Training humanoid robots, which resemble humans, seems much more challenging than machine-type robots. How is NVIDIA approaching this? First, Groot Teleop enables skilled human workers to portal into a digital twin of their robot using the Apple Vision Pro. This means operators can capture data even without a physical robot, and they can operate the robot in a risk-free environment, eliminating the chance of physical damage or wear and tear. To teach a robot a single task, operators capture motion trajectories through a handful of teleoperated demonstrations, then use Groot Mimic to multiply these trajectories into a much larger data set. Next, they use Group Gen, built on Omniverse and Cosmos for domain randomization and 3D to real upscaling. 
generating an exponentially larger data set. The Omniverse and Cosmos Multiverse Simulation Engine provides a massively scaled data set to train the robot policy. Once the policy is trained, developers can perform software in the loop testing and validation in Isaac Sim before deploying to the real robot. The age of general robotics is arriving, powered by NVIDIA Isaac Group. AI is generally divided into AI for learning and AI for inference or execution. NVIDIA, however, aims for a three-computer solution that includes Cosmos, a physical world model for all mechanical objects operating in physical environments. At the very end, CEO Jensen Huang made a witty joke comparing it to the Netflix drama The Three-Body Problem. It felt a bit like a dad joke, didn't it? Omniverse plus Cosmos represents the third computer that's necessary for building robotic systems. Every robotics company will ultimately have to build three computers. A robotics, the robotic system could be a factory, the robotic system could be a car, it could be a robot. You need three fundamental computers. One computer, of course, to train the AI. We call it the DGX computer to train the AI. Another, of course, when you're done, to deploy the AI. We call that AGX, that's inside the car, in the robot, or in an AMR or you know, at the, uh, in, a, in a stadium or whatever it is, these computers are at the edge and they're autonomous. But to connect the two, you need a digital twin. And this is all the simulations that you were seeing. The digital twin is where the AI that has been trained goes to practice, to be refined, to do its synthetic data generation, reinforcement learning AI feedback, such and such. And so it's the digital twin of the AI. These three computers are going to be working interactively. NVIDIA's strategy for uh, the industrial world, and we've been talking about this for some time, is this three-computer system. You know, instead of a three-body three problem, we have a three-computer solution. And so it's the NVIDIA robotics. <clears throat>